In this quick video, I'm going to show you two of the methods I use to fill in gaps and join pieces together to give a seamless finish to your resin 3D prints. The first method I use for larger gaps is with a two-part epoxy. I like to use this Aves or Avis two-part epoxy. I'm not really too sure how it's pronounced. It's really simple to work with. You just take equal parts from container A and container B and mix them together with your fingertips for about two minutes. Once it is well mixed together, I form it into the general shape needed for the gap and then apply it to the piece. So for this fairly large gap on the base, I will roll it out into an almost noodle-like shape. Epoxy can be a bit sticky and stick to your hands and gloves, so I like to keep a little spritz of water on my slap mat that I can dip my fingertips into before working it into the gaps. The water also helps a bit when you're smoothing out the surface once it's been pressed into the area. Once it is applied, I use a paint mixing knife to flatten out the top and remove any excess epoxy. I also use it to carve in matching details to make the gap as seamless as possible. Once the gap is filled in, you want to wait at least a few hours to let the epoxy harden before attempting to sand it down for a final finish. Ideally, you want to wait 24 hours, but 4-5 to five hours is usually fine. This is really the only two-part epoxy I've used, and it is a bit expensive, but a little bit goes a long way with this stuff. I've been using this for about 5 months, and I've barely dented the surface of these containers. And once it is hardened, it is really durable to work with. But there are a lot of cheaper two-part epoxies that I'm sure would work as well. The second method I use for smaller gaps is to use resin, or what I like to refer to as resin welding. This technique uses whatever resin you're using for your prints along with a UV flashlight to quickly cure the resin and fill in the gap. When using resin to fill gaps, you want to make sure there is no sunlight touching the area or it will harden to any surface you have it on. Even indirect sunlight will slowly harden the resin, so keep it away from any sunlight and also make sure you're using proper UV protective glasses. For this method, you simply apply resin to a small area and quickly shine a UV light on it for a few seconds to harden the resin. For applying the resin, I like to use the cap from the bottle and a super fine tip paintbrush. The bristles on the paintbrush allow you to soak up the proper amount you need to give you more control on how much resin you're applying. You could also use a toothpick or a q-tip, but in my experience they can cause the resin to drip and be inconsistent when applying it to the model. When resin welding, make sure you're working in small areas to keep the resin under control. If the resin seeps too far into the gap, it can be trapped in your model with no real way of curing it. So just work slow and in small sections. It can seem kind of awkward at first, but you will eventually get into a groove and the process will feel a lot smoother. Once the top of the gap is sealed with resin, I usually like to pop it into the curing station for a few minutes just to make sure the covered gap is fully cured. This piece is huge though, and I'm running a time lapse right now, so I'm just going to put it out in the sun for a few hours. Once the resin is cured and the epoxy is set, we can now move into sanding everything smooth for the final finish. And after sanding and a quick coat of primer, this is the ready to paint finished piece. The piece I am working on today is the base for my next project, which is this amazing 4 scale Robocop bust from Wicked 3D. This print is looking awesome so far, and I can't wait to have it all assembled for you. If you have any suggestions or questions on the process, please leave a comment below, and if this video helped you in any way, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you on the next project.